You may remember from a calculus course that it is not so easy to establish whether a function is one-to-one -one or not. For functions from r to r you have the horizontal line test, but this requires graphing the function, which can be hard. And for a function from r to r2 and higher this becomes even more difficult. So how about linear algebra, where we always have transformation from rn to rm? Well, Fortunately, this is much easier in linear al algebra. Once you have your standard matrix, you can see straight away whether a transformation is one-to-one -one or not, as you will learn in this video. So we'll, we'll take our transformation t from Rn to Rm. It's a linear transformation, so it's given in terms of a standard matrix at. So we know t, uh, t of x equals at times x. How can we determine whether t is one-to-one? -one? Well, uh, use the definition, t is 1 to 1 if tx is b has at most one solution for all b in the codomain, which is in this case rm. So 1 to 1 means that there it's not allowed to have more x's in the domain mapping to the same b in the codomain. So for any b in the codomain, you can have at most one x which is mapped to that particular b. So that means uh, t is 1 to 1. Uh, tx is ax, so t is 1 to 1 if ax is b has at most one solution for all b in rn. So if you want to have at most one solution for all b, that means you cannot have free variables. As soon as you have free variables, you either have zero solutions or infinitely many. So no free variables in the solution of uh, ax is b, uh, because as soon as you have uh, free variables, for example ax equals zero has infinitely many solutions, so that's not possible. So you cannot have free variables. But if you don't have free variables, then you have either zero or one solution of ax is b, so at most one solution. So how can you see whether your uh, transformation is one to one? Well, if every column of your matrix has a pivot, then your transformation will be one to one, because you don't have free, free variables, and if you have columns without pivots, then you will have free variables and your transformation will not be one-to-one. -one. So take our uh, two examples, t from r2 to r2 given by matrix A, t of x equals a t times x. Uh, how can we see whether our transformation t is one-to-one? -one? Well, we do one row reduction step. We see we have two pivots. Every column has a pivot, because, uh, which means that we have no free variables which means that our transformation t is one-to-one. -one. Again, the transformation is one-to-one, -one, the transformation t is one-to-one, -one. a matrix A cannot be one-to-one. -one. The corresponding transformation is said to be one-to-one. -one. Let's take another example. A slightly different matrix, not one, two, three, four, but one, two, two, four. Okay, there we are. And is this transformation t of x equals a of x, a times x, is this one one-to-one? -one? Well, we look uh, uh, at the standard matrix and use row reduction, and we see we have over here a column without a pivot, which means that we have a, a free variable. So that means that, uh, for example, ax equals zero has infinitely many solutions and not only one, so that means our transformation is not one to one. So as you see, as soon as you have standard matrix of your linear transformation, you can determine very easy whether the transformation is one-to-one -one or not.